A birthday cake. Birthday is one of the most important days of every person. Let's watch this video and see the surprise that mom and children have for dad. Good morning, everyone. Ken and Minnie, come here with me. Let me kiss you before going to work. No, Dad, I'm very busy watching TV now. Yes, Father, I'm also helping my mother with flower arrangements. <laughs> okay, my kids woke up early to work. I'm quite surprised about that. Oh, Anna, the flowers are very beautiful. Where did you get them? I bought them yesterday in the flower shop. It's too late now. You should go to work now if you don't want to be late for work. Okay, I know it. Anna, bye everyone. Love you. Bye, bye Dad. Dad! Okay, everyone. Your dad surely doesn't know about our secret plan for his birthday. Let's start now. I will make a delicious cake for him. We also decorate the living room and make some Dad's favorite food. It will be a really big party for our family. Yeah, Mom, let's start making a beautiful birthday cake for Dad now! Let me first check the ingredients to make sure they're adequate. Minnie, can you help me get the little piece of paper on the table? I wrote the birthday cake recipe on it. Here it is, Mom! Ken, check the ingredients with me. Eggs, sugar, milk, vanilla, salt, mayonnaise, chocolate, flour. It's okay, Mom. Let's do it. The cake is done. I will bake it now. Then we will decorate the house while waiting for the cake. Ken, you will blow the balloon and Minnie will set it on the floor. And I arrange the rest flour. Okay, Mom. Could I take one balloon for myself? I love balloons! Of course, daughter. You can choose any ball you love. Thanks, Mom. Ah, uh, Ken, let's blow happy birthday balloons first. I need to hang them on the wall soon. Yes, Mom. Mom, I finished blowing the happy birthday balloons. Well done, Ken. You will stand here and notify me when I hang the ball out of alignment. Okay, Mom. Believe me. Mom, please push the letter Y a little to the right. Like that? Perfect. <laughs> oh, anyone smells the burning smell? Yes, I smell it. <gasps> oh no, the cake. It was burnt. Oh no, you need to make a new cake, Mom. Yeah, fortunately we still have enough ingredients and time. You and Minnie will continue decorating the living room while I make the cake, alright? Yes, Mom. You should watch out the oven to make sure that the cake will not be burnt anymore. Okay, Ken. I'll make a perfect cake for your dad. Ken, Minnie, let's come here and look at the new cake I made. Wow, it looks so delicious. Can I have a bite on it? No, Minnie, I have to put cream on the cake. And you should wait for Dad to come home and enjoy this cake together, right? I already made cream too. What should we write on this cake? We love you, Dad. Good idea, Minnie. Let me decorate the cake with you. I draw very well. Okay, Ken, let me put white cream on the cake first. Finally, it's done. So beautiful, Mom. I love it. Let me bring it to the living room. Then we will watch TV and wait for Dad to come home. Can I play the game for a while, Mom? Okay, Ken. Thanks, Mom. I will go to my room now. Wait for me, Ken. I want to play games too. <gasps> oh no, Minnie. I'm so sorry, Mom. 
I really didn't mean it. <sighs> no problem, daughter. I will fix it now. So, Ken, I think you should not play games. You and I will fix the birthday cake quickly before Dad home. Yes, Mom. I'm always ready. <gasps> Mom, did you hear that? Yes, Ken. Your dad is home, but we still haven't finished fixing the cake yet. What should we do now? Tell me why ain't nothing but a party. I'm still trying. It's nearly done. Keep it up, kids. Hmm, where are Anna and the kids? Are they not at home today? Is anybody at home? Open the door for me. Anybody? Mom, have you fixed the cake yet? Can we open the door for Dad? Wait for me for two minutes. I just need to write letter A on the cake and the cake is done. Why can't I open the door? Is this lock broken? Minnie, Ken, where are you? Open the door, I'm back home and buy a lot of snacks you love. Mom, is the cake done? Happy birthday, Daddy! Wow, amazing. I am so surprised. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to Dad! John, I wish you many new successes and love our family more. Dad, I love you so much. I wish you will be stronger and happier. Minnie, you don't want to say something to me? I love you too. <laughs> oh, my daughter is so cute. Dad, we made this birthday cake for you. Try it, Dad. It's very beautiful and delicious. Of course, I must try it now. But you have to wish before blowing out the candles. Oh, I forgot. Okay, let's eat the cake now. Dad, this is the second birthday cake. Can you guess where is the first one? Two cakes, really? Actually, the first cake was burnt because of my mistake. <laughs> oh, Anna, you are so clumsy. Now I just noticed that this cake was also slightly damaged. Is this because of you too, Anna? <laughs> no, Dad, I did it. I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't mean it. I was running into the room with Ken when I bumped into the cake. No problem, daughter. It still looks good and delicious. I love it. Today is a special day. It is the best birthday ever in my life. Who wants to go out tonight to eat Japanese food? Yay! I love it! I'd love to, Dad. Future Continuous Watch this video to learn how to use present continuous sentences in real life. Dialogue 1 Mel is planning to go on a hiking trip this weekend. She tries to convince Laura, her classmate, to tag along. Hi, Laura. What are you doing? Nothing much. Just trying to finish the homework we got today. Already? It's not due until next week. Well, I want to spend my weekend doing something else other than studying. That makes sense. Talking about the weekend, have you already made any plans for it? Not really. Why? My family and I are going on a hiking trip. Will you be willing to join us then? That sounds nice. What time will you guys be leaving? We actually will be leaving right about this time on Saturday. Um, I don't know if I can make it. Let me ask my mom first. Sure, take your time. But let me know by Friday night, okay? I will be waiting for your call then. Okay, sounds good to me. Hello, Mel? 
Yes. Hey, Laura. Have you made up your mind yet? Yes. I asked my mom and she agreed to let me go. So I will be joining you guys tomorrow on the trip. Awesome. We will be waiting for you around 8 a.m. Is that fine? Totally. It is perfect. Do you mind if I bring my brother Edward as well? My mom wants me to take care of him. Sure. We have another seat in the car for him. Great. By the way, remember to wear hiking shoes. It is going to be a long hike. Got it. See you tomorrow, Mel. Good night. See you, Laura. Good night to you, too. Dialogue 2. It is Nathan's fifth birthday soon. His parents, Todd and Eve, are going over the plans for his celebration party. Todd, did you forget to order the cake? Oh, I totally forgot. Don't worry, honey. I will be paying a visit to the local bakery this time tomorrow while you decorate the house. Remember it, Todd. I don't want to mess this party up. Oh, relax. It is going to be a great party. Nathan and his friends will be having so much fun here this Sunday. You are right. But can we at least go through the list of things needed to be prepared first? Sure, honey. All right. You will be ordering the cake tomorrow. What about the balloons? I already bought them and will be blowing them up before the kids come. Ah, good, good. What about food? Will we be serving pizza or pasta for this party? I think pizza will be better, because they can use their hands to eat it. It will not make such a mess. Good idea. What will we be doing to entertain them? I bought a new projector to show them a superhero movie. That should do the job. Perfect. I think this plan is pretty solid. Should we send out the invitations now? No, I will be sending out the invitations directly to the kids' parents when I take Nathan to school this week. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Now, you need to have a rest. You are too worried about this party. Well, I want my son's birthday party to be perfect. It will be, I promise you. <sighs> I trust you, honey. Dialogue 3. Tom and Brian are thinking of surprising their friend, Daniel, by paying him a visit at his house. Tom, do you think it is fine for us to show up at Daniel's house unannounced? It is fine. Why are you asking that? Are you worried? Yes. Will he be busy working when we arrive? I checked with his girlfriend and she told me he should not be busy doing anything when we arrive. Hmm, I guess that it is fine then. Yes, do you want to bring some drinks over? It has been a long time since all three of us are gathering. I know, right? It has been too long. What will you be doing at 6.30pm tomorrow? I will be working by then, why? I was going to ask you to go to the grocery store with me to buy some drinks, but I can go on my own as well. No, I can leave work early. Let's go together. Awesome. I will pass by your office, okay? Sounds good. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys. Me too. The last time we met was for Christmas. And that was half a year ago. Time really flies, doesn't it? <laughs> it's because you were always busy, bro. We could have met a few times since then. <laughs> My bad. I just have so many projects going on lately, but you know what? I will be finalizing them this time next month, so I should have more time to hang out by then. Sure, bro. You say that and then disappear every single time. Haha, <laughs> I promise this time is different. Sure, Mr. Workaholic. See you tomorrow. See ya. Dialogue 4. Mia's family is leaving for London soon. However, she tells Clara, her friend, that she will not join them. Mia, are you leaving for London tomorrow? London? No, I am not. Only my parents are going. 
Oh? Why so? I thought you told me you loved London last time you visited. Well, I will be taking my college entrance exams when they are away. I need to prepare for them as well. I see, but where will you be staying then? Or will you just be home alone? I will be staying with my grandma in the meantime. My parents never let me stay home alone on my own. Ah, that's good. If not, you can always stay at my place. I have a spare bedroom in my house ready for you. Thank you so much. Maybe I will crash at your place for a few nights. But I also want to spend some time with my grandma, so I will mainly be staying at her place. That's perfectly fine. Let me know whenever you want to come over. Sure. By the way, how long will your parents be away? They will be staying in London for over a month. A long time, isn't it? Yes, I will miss them a lot. Topic. Part 1. Trouble at the airport. Henry is a writer. He has a little trouble at the airport. Watch the video to see what he will do and what surprises he will have after this trouble. Hey, Henry. Welcome back. <laughs> I've only been away for a week. It's quite long. Okay, but now I have to finish the work and send it to the publisher. I've tried to return as quickly as possible. When is the deadline? Morning tomorrow? Why didn't you call me to pick you up? I can take a taxi. Okay, just do your work. What is that? What? What happened? It is not my suitcase. Where did you get it? The airport, of course. I went straight home after getting off the airport. So poor you. You took someone else's suitcase by mistake. Oh no, it's totally the same as mine. Really? You see my suitcase? It's black like this, the same size as well because I was in a hurry to get home and didn't check it. What are you going to do now? I think I should go back to the airport to report this problem. Okay, go right now. Ugh, but at which counter can I report it? Baggage service counter, I think. Okay, thanks. Hope you can find it soon. I hope so. All of my work there. Can you describe the suitcase? And what's in that suitcase? Here is a picture. It's black. There are clothes, two books, two important documents that we really need to present to our boss tomorrow. I see. We have saved your information and will contact you as soon as it is available. Thanks. Oh. Oh, are you Mary? Yes. Oh, Henry, long time no see. Really long, since we were still in the same college club, right? <laughs> That's right. But why are you here? I have some problems. Aw, oh, me too. I've reported it. Do you have time? Wait for me for a few minutes, and can we talk later? Sure. So you wait for me there for a while. Hi, I have some trouble with my suitcase. Yes, what's your problem? I think I picked up someone else's suitcase by mistake, and I also lost my suitcase. Which flight did you take? I landed a flight from Russia this afternoon. What time did you land? About 3 p.m. Ah, there was a passenger who came looking for her suitcase. It seems like this is your suitcase. Great. I'm so lucky, there are a lot of important things in it. She has just been here. 
Is her name Mary? Right. Do you know her? Yes, she was my friend. We just met, but I don't think it's a coincidence. We took each other's suitcase by mistake. I think that's lucky. Here she is back. So you and I took each other's suitcases by mistake? What a coincidence. We have said hi, and unexpectedly the two of us took the wrong suitcase. Lucky to have found it. That's right. I also have many important documents here. Thank you for helping us. You're welcome. Do you have time tonight? Yes. It has been a long time since we talked. Would you like to have dinner with me? I know a great restaurant. It's my pleasure. Okay, so let's go. Topic Part 2 Trouble at the Airport What is your job now? I am working as a marketing manager in AB Company. AB Company? Yes, do you know that? Right, my roommate, Jack, also works in this company. Oh, Jack is my colleague. Great, it's a small world. That's right. And how about you? Are you a writer? Yes, my dream comes true. And because I wanted to go home to finish my work, I took the wrong suitcase. When we were in the university, you were always in a hurry to finish everything early. But thanks to that, I have a chance to meet you. I am very happy to meet you again. Me too. And can I know your phone number? Sure. Where is your address? I will take you home. Don't worry about me. It's near here. I also live near here. On the Boston Street. Oh! My house is on the street. Really? So we are neighbors. But I haven't met you before. Maybe someday we will meet again. Louis, you seem very happy when going out. Sorry, I haven't had time for you lately because I've been busy. Oh, where are you going? Stop! Louis! Sorry for bothering you. Oh, Henry? Mary, I said we will meet again. Right. Are you also walking the dog? Yes, I usually go out with my dog at this time. Today I have time, so I go out with my dog, Louis. Look, they seem to like each other very much. What is his name? Leo. Oh, Leo and Louis. Very nice. Do you usually go out for a walk at this hour? Let's go together. Sure. Will you have time this weekend? I'm going to go for a picnic. I want to invite you. Great. I love picnics. Smile. I will take a photo for you. Let's take a photo together. Have you been tired today? It's fun to go out today. Thank you. I really like it. It's quite late. I think you should go to sleep now. Yes. Good night. Good night. What's wrong with you? I don't know what I should do now. Why? What is the problem? I like a girl in my company. I want to confess to her, but I'm afraid she will refuse. Try it, bro. Just say to her, I like you. At least you've expressed your heart. Maybe you're right. Who is she? She is a manager. Her name is very beautiful. Mary. Mary? Do you know her? Uh, yes. 
She and I were members of a club in the university. She is pretty, right? Yes. Henry, do you have time tonight? Can we have dinner together? Sorry, I am not free today. How about tomorrow? I think I will be busy. Are you avoiding me? No, because I am busy. Sorry, Mary. I don't want Jack to be sad. Jack is my best friend, but I really miss you. Henry? I have to go now. Goodbye. Henry, you drop. <gasps> Thanks to the trouble at the airport, I got to see Mary again today. She's still as beautiful as the old days. It is a pleasure to have a picnic with Mary today. I took pictures with her. The photo is beautiful. She has a very beautiful smile. It's sad because I can't tell her that I love her. I don't want Jack to be sad. Maybe she and Jack would get along better. But I still miss and love her very much, Mary. Where is that? Or do I drop at this place? Henry! <gasps> Why are you carrying this? Give it to me. No, I read all of that. Mary, I'm so sorry. Can you be my girlfriend? What time does it start? Kelly, are you free tonight? Yes, what's up, Jessica? My friend gave me two movie tickets. She said they could not go tonight. Do you want to go with me? Okay, uh, what movie is that? It's named Soul. It's the famous movie recently. Yes, the cartoon one. Okay, uh, what time does it start? At 7.30 p.m. We should leave at 7 p.m. Okay, I will see you downstairs at 7, okay? Okay, see you. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Are you going somewhere, Beth? Yes, I will go camping with my classmates. Nice. Where will you go to? We will go to a campsite on the mountain near our university. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Have you seen the weather forecast? Not yet. Could you help me check it? Okay, let me see. It's sunny tomorrow. You're lucky. Thanks. Anything else? May I help you? I want to buy some groceries. Okay, uh, what would you like? I would like some eggs and bananas. How many eggs and bananas? A dozen of eggs and five bananas, please. Okay, anything else? A loaf of bread and a bar of butter also. Okay, is it everything? Yes, it is. How much is it? It's nine dollars. Do you need a bag? No, thanks. Here you are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Cheers.
are they the same? Wow, Jack, did you buy new fish? Yes, I did. They're so cute, right? Are they the same? I mean, the same type. Yes, they are the same type. Your aquarium looks so beautiful. How long have you had it? I've had this for eight months. Is it difficult to raise this kind of fish? Yes, it is. Why? They usually overeat and die, so you have to pay attention to the amount of food while feeding them. Oh, I didn't know that. You must love them a lot to take care of them so well. Yes, they are my lover. <laughs> English conversation in real life. What do you usually have for breakfast? Hi, Sophia. You look not really good. Yeah, I woke up too late today. <gasps> have you had breakfast? Not yet. How about you? Yes, I did. What do you usually have for breakfast? I like sandwiches and milk. It's easy to prepare and save time. I do like sandwiches too. What do you usually have for breakfast? I usually have nuts and yogurt. <laughs> it sounds like you are on a diet. Not really, just because I like nuts so much. Do you try nuts with fresh milk? Yes, it's also a good one. Do you like sugar milk or no sugar milk? I like no sugar milk. I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. Hey, I want to buy some souvenirs. Okay. There's a souvenir shop over there. Let's go. Look, I like this one. A wand? Do you like Harry Potter? Yes, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. Aloha Mora. Who is your favorite character? My favorite character is definitely Harry Potter. How about you? I'm not a fan of Harry Potter, but I like Hermione most. I know you. She's extremely intelligent. Exactly. She's so cute as well. Everything will be fine. Why haven't you gone to bed, Henry? I'm a bit nervous, Mommy. What are you nervous about? My presentation is tomorrow. I did prepare it, but... Do you think you prepared it well? Yes, but I'm not confident enough to stand in front of all classes. Everything will be fine. Take a deep breath. Okay. You should remind yourself that you can do it. And do your best. You will get an excellent result. Thanks, Mom. I will do that. Now go to sleep. If you stay up late, you will not be 100% for tomorrow's presentation. Okay. May I speak to Brian, please? Hello, this is the marketing department of Golden Company. How can I help you? Hi, may I speak to Brian, please? Sorry, who is speaking? I'm Jimmy. I'm an old customer of Brian. I cannot call his private number. Oh, hi Miss Jimmy. Brian is in a meeting right now. Do you want to send him a message? 
I just want to discuss with Brian more about the previous project. It's a bit urgent. Okay. So tell him to call me back when the meeting is finished? Sure thing. Can you give me your phone number, please? Brian knew mine already. Okay. I will pass him your message. Thank you. Have a nice day, Miss Jimmy. Can I pay by credit card? Hi, sir. How can we help you? Can I have the bill, please? Sure. This is your bill. Please check it. Thank you. Can I pay by credit card? Absolutely. Yes. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Sorry, sir. I think your card is a problem. I cannot make the payment by it. Really? I just used it recently this afternoon. Can you please double check? Sure. Let me take a look. Oh, sorry. I gave you an old card. My apologies. No problem, sir. Are you pleased with the dinner today? Yes, it's still great, as usual. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Hey, are you Anne? Yes, it's me. You are Olivia, right? Yes. Thank God you still remember me. You changed a bit, but absolutely I can recognize you. Yeah. I haven't seen you for ages. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm glad to meet you today. I think we should go out sometimes. Yes, I think so. We should make a date soon because I'm going to come to Italy for some years. Are you on a business trip? Yeah, kind of. I need to take over my mom's store in Italy. Congrats! Have you had plans for this weekend? No. I know a great coffee shop. I will send you the address. Perfect! I need to do laundry. Tommy, are you home? Mommy, I'm here. What are you doing? Look, I made it by myself. Wow, you are a genius. I used my whole day to do it. It's one of the best cardboard houses I've ever seen. Thanks, Mom. Have you completed all the household chores I told you about this morning yet? Yes, I did the bed, swept the floor, and fed the fish. Have you forgotten anything? Mmm, oh, I need to do laundry. I forgot it at all. Yes, that's it. I'm so sorry, Mom. I will do it now. Okay, good boy. My husband is going to go on a diet. Linda, why do you buy so many vegetables? Oh, Julia, nice to see you. Yeah, my husband is going to go on a diet. Wow, does he want to lose weight? No, not really. He just wants to eat healthier. That's perfect. Do you follow him? Kind of. I also want to eat healthier, but, you know, I really love something like fast food. I'm also considering going on a diet, but I think it is so complicated. No, it's easier than you think. Are you kidding me? None at all, if you want. I can share my experience with you. Perfect. Thanks. I have started doing yoga classes.
Hey, do you want to go to the cinema after work? I would love to, but I can't. I've started doing yoga classes. Oh, really? That's amazing. When did you register? Two weeks ago. Today is my third class. Where's your yoga center? I also want to take part in a yoga class one day. Uh, it's quite near my house. Aw, oh, what a pity. So, it's far from my house. You should find a yoga center near our company. It's the better option. Do you know any centers nearby? Yeah, I searched for them. I will send you. Thanks. It takes about 20 minutes. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I want to cut my hair. Sure, have you booked an appointment before? Not yet. Is it the problem? No, no, not at all. However, you have to wait a few minutes. Our barbers are busy now. How long does it take? Mm, it takes about 20 minutes. Is it okay for you? Yes, no worries, I have time. While waiting, do you want to take a look at our catalog? Perfect! I haven't decided on my new haircut. Do you want it short or still long? I'm not sure. Let me think for a few minutes. Okay, have a seat and take your time. Thanks! It's very thoughtful of you. Emily, why didn't you go to work today? I heard that you got sick, didn't you? Yeah, I had a high fever last night and early morning, so I can't go to work today. Oh my, have you felt better yet? Not really, but my temperature went down a little bit. Hope you will get better soon. Thanks for calling when I'm ill. It's very thoughtful of you. Forget it. Do you think you can go to work tomorrow? No, I don't. My head is still in pain. That's serious. You should go to the hospital soon. I did this morning. I also bought some medicine. No worries. I will drop by your house tomorrow. Okay. See you then. Talk later. It's none of your business. Kai, where did you go this morning? I went to school. What's up? I remember that you don't have class on Saturday. Don't tell a lie. No, I don't. Now tell me or I will tell mom. It's none of your business. Why do I have to tell you? Because I'm your elder sister, you know? No, you have no right. I will tell mom that you told a lie. Okay. I came to Alex's house. We played video games all morning. Oh my. You should have to do homework this afternoon. I will do it this evening, I promise. Okay. I believe in you this time. As soon as possible. Honey, how are you? I miss you so much. I'm great. I miss you too. How is it going there? Everything is fine. I'm going to adapt to the new working environment. That's great news. Yeah, but I think I forgot my mark at home. Really? Where did you put it in? I think it is in the drawer in my reading room. Okay. Can you send it to me via the post office, please? Sure. When do you need it? As soon as possible. 
I don't need it immediately, but I have to have it by my side, just in case. Okay, I see. I will pack it, then send it to you tomorrow. Thanks, honey. Can I have your phone number? Hello, this is customer service from the HD Center. How can I help you? I want to warranty my iron. Sure. First, can I have some more details about you? I'm Sam Jordan. I bought an iron in your showroom two days ago. Can I have your phone number? Zero eight three four six six four five five. Okay. What is the problem with your iron? At first, it works perfectly, but I used it for two days. Then it doesn't work anymore today. Okay. Have you checked the plug-in and your electric source in your house? Not yet. Let me see. Okay. I still keep the phone. Oh, my bad. I forgot to plug it in. So sorry. Does it work now? Yes. Thanks for your support. My pleasure. We have a lot in common. Hi, I'm Rachel. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. I'm a new student in the class. Yeah, I know. Where did you live before moving here? I lived in Spain with my dad. Serious? Oh, it's super cool. No, it's so-so. I really miss my friends in America. Look, do you also like Backstreet Boy? Yes, I did. It's an old band, but they are still legendary. Absolutely. I also love them. If you come to my house, you can see all the walls are covered by their posters. Really? It's awesome! What about basketball? Do you like playing it? Yes. I think everyone likes basketball, don't they? Wow. Surprised. We have a lot in common. Do you also think that? I cannot agree more. Yes, I think we may become best friends. Topic. Tomas and Francisco, two Portuguese friends, travel to the U.S. There was a mouse in their hotel room. Let's watch the video to see how they will handle this situation. This is your room. Shall I leave your baggage here? Yes, thanks a lot. If you need anything, you can call the front desk at any time. Okay. Ugh, are you tired? A little bit, but why speak English? We are in America. We have to use English. <laughs> Fine, but what time is it in Portugal now? Well, let's see. 8 p.m. Then we'll be sleepy this evening. <sighs> yeah, we should rest a bit now. Let's go out later. Yeah, I'm going to wash up a bit. Ah! <gasps> What's wrong, Francisco? Oh my god! Rato! Rato! Where is it? In the bathroom! I just saw it! Are you sure? Sure! Let me call the front desk. Hi, I'm in room 503. Hello, how can I help you? There is a rato in our room. Pardon? What's in your room? A rato. Sorry, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. 
Um, I forgot that word, but it's an animal. Animal? Yes. Hold on. Our staff will come over and check it now. Okay. Hi. The front desk said there was something in your room. I'm here to check it out. Yes, it's in the bathroom. Did you see it? My friend saw it. Where is it, Francisco? I think it's hiding under a cupboard or somewhere. I can't see anything. Seems like it's scared, so it's lying still. Okay... I don't know what animal you guys are talking about, but I'll report it to the receptionist so they can sort it out. Please wait a moment. Okay. Hi. Hi, I call back to check the situation. Yes. Hi, I'm very sorry, but our staff reported that he did not see anything. Can you please try to describe what it is again? It is black and has a long tail. Oh, got it. It's Jerry. Jerry! Jerry? What Jerry? Jerry, as in Tom and Jerry, the famous cartoon. Ah, uh, is it a mouse? Yes, yes, a mouse. Really? In that case, we sincerely apologize for your bad experience with our hotel. Okay, but can you bring up a Tom to catch that Jerry? Don't worry, I will arrange another room for you if it's okay for you. It's a bit inconvenient because I've already taken out my stuff. We are very sorry for causing this inconvenience. How about this? I'll upgrade a better room for you. Is it okay? How much does it cost? We will keep the same price as your room now with a small discount as compensation. That's fine, then. Yes, so please prepare your luggage. Our staff will help you to move to the new room. Okay, please come in 10 minutes. Okay. If you want to ask for anything, please call the front desk. Yes, thank you. Francisco, put your things in the luggage. We'll move to another room. Changing room? Well, she told me she will arrange a higher class room at no extra cost, and even with a discount as compensation. Great! Let me put my stuff back quick. Take your time. I asked them to come in 10 minutes. Okay. The Garden Situation 1 Miley invites her old friend Katie to her new house. Katie is impressed by Miley's beautiful flower garden. Hi Katie, come in. Long time no see. Hi Miley, thank you for inviting me over. How are you? I'm great. I just quit my job to stay home to take care of my house and my kids. That's great. Your house is so lovely. Come on, let me show you around. This is my kitchen and my room, and the children's rooms are upstairs. And this is my garden. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Did you plant it all by yourself? With a little help from my husband. I like gardening. It helps me relax. Look at all these flowers and bushes. I bought the seeds online and I learned how to fertilize it from my books. Wow, you're so good at gardening. What's their names? These are the snapdragons. They bloom heavily and stand up in the often harsh weather in spring and fall. And they bring butterflies to my garden. Wow, I like butterflies. Are they hard to plant? No, these plants are for beginner's garden. Like these daffodils. Plant daffodil bulbs and stand back. They'll burst into bloom each spring, 
filling your garden with color and fragrance. Look at the bright colors. Are they daisies? No, they look like daisies, but these are cosmos. These annuals are so undemanding. They'll bloom even in poor soils. That's great. Maybe I can try to plant them at home. But I live in an apartment. I could only hang some flower baskets. You can totally do it. It's so easy. These begonias are tough and great for hanging baskets, containers, or garden beds. Give them sun or shade and they'll reward you with lots of lush colors. Great! I can brighten up my balcony. But where did you buy the seeds? You can take these pots and hang them. I planted it a while ago and you can take care of it for me. Thank you so much, Miley. And I will cut you some flowers for you to bring home and decorate your house. Do you like these peonies? Oh, they are to die for. Who doesn't like them? People think these peonies are hard to grow, but all they need is a good organic mulch. They grow well over a wide range of climates and feature stunning foliage, giant blooms, and are available in many colors. What is this wonderful smell? It smells like lavender, but I thought lavender would be only in the UK. You're right, it's the lavender. My husband bought these seeds when he traveled to England last year. Do these lavenders survive in our climate? Yes, they are tough and they only need well-drained sunny soil. It flowers for a long time, but its fragrant foliage is also delightful. I used dry petals to make lavender candles. I will give you one as a gift and you can try to light it up in your bedroom to relax. Thank you for all of these wonderful gifts. But it's getting late. I have to go home now. But another time soon we can go have a cup of coffee? Sure, Katie. Just call me. Okay, bye. See you later. See ya. Situation 2 Mary wants to start gardening, so she goes to the shop to buy seeds and tools. The shop staff, Derek, recommends her all the seeds and tools that she needs. Hi, welcome to my little garden. I'm Derek. What can I help you with? Hi, I want to start planting flowers in my backyard, and I don't know what to start with. I'm here to help you. I have customers come here every day asking that same question. And lucky for you, I have all the seeds that are suitable for beginners and all the equipment for you to start planting on your own. Oh, great. You are my lifesaver. <laughs> Thanks. So how big is your garden? Do you like flowers with fragrance or what color do you want? My garden is pretty big. It has sunny spots and shady spots too. I like flowers with fragrance, especially kinds that attract butterflies or birds. And I like every kind of color. I want my garden to be diverse. Wonderful. I have these sunflower seeds. This plant is forever famous, especially with children. The blooms are in the deep dark brown color of a chocolate bar and highlighted with yellow tips. Their seeds attract birds. Oh, wow. I like sunflowers. I will have some of that. And do you have daisy seeds? No, I just ran out of those. But these zinnia seeds are daisy-like. They come in almost every color. You can just plant them in the sun and space them as directed on the seed packet or label. Good air circulation helps prevent disease. Great, I will have that too. I want something that grows all year round. I want my garden to be beautiful all the time. Uh, we have the um, Pelagaronium, grown as annuals, popular for its brilliant red and orange, as well as white flowers and tolerance to heat and drought, ideal for the hottest spots. I have such perfect sunny spots for them. 
I will take it, thanks. Do you need anything else? These begonia seeds are some of the most varied and useful tender garden plants. They are one of our best sellers. Okay, I will try those too. And do you recommend any good garden tools? You should start with the essentials and stay focused on the basics so you can keep your shed or storage area from becoming overcrowded. I have a limited budget, so I want to buy the best quality tools that my budget allows and maintain them. Say no more. I have all the basic tools that you need. Start with this quality yet affordable water resistant breathable fit glove. Then these cutting tools, pruning shears, and loppers make cutting through thicker and harder branches easier. Great! I will need those. And I have a shovel at home, but I need a short shovel for digging holes. This short handled square shovel is garden workhorses. It can be more on the pricey side, but a good spade will last for the rest of your gardening life. Yes, and this stainless steel head is strong and won't rust. I will have this too. Do you own any watering wand or can? No, I don't. Should I buy a watering can or wand? Watering wands come in a variety of lengths. The extended reach is also helpful to get to out-of-the-way containers, hanging plants, or the back edges of borders. And a can is easier to carry, but won't last as long. I will have a watering wand, please. Wonderful choice. I think you're all set. You can start planting seeds and just come back here whenever you have anything else. Thank you. I'm so excited to start my own garden. Yes. Call me if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Have you seen my other shoe? Miss Jessica, I think you're kind of drunk. Don't worry about me. Maybe because today's party was so much fun. Has everyone had fun today? I'm sure they are very happy today. I want to hold a party because we had tried a lot since the winter campaign of our company started. Thank you for that. How will you go home? I'm gonna get a taxi because it's quite late. I'm afraid that there won't have any bus. I will drive you home. Never mind, I can go home alone. No problem, because your house is on the same road as mine. It's so convenient. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for driving me home. Don't mention that. Be careful driving. Okay. Um, I want to remind you something. Yes? Please don't tell anyone I brought you home. You know, I'm afraid the gossipers will twist it into something else. Sure, I remember. I fear that too. Even though it's just that I want to help you, people won't think so. I got it. Good. I will go now. Goodbye! Honey, do you want to go out for dinner? Sure! Can you choose a restaurant for us? I like beef steak. Can we come to a beef steak restaurant? We haven't eaten at a western restaurant since your last birthday. Of course. As long as you like it. Thanks, honey. I will make up a bit. Wait for me some minutes. Okay.
While you are driving, I'll talk to my friend on the phone for a bit. Wait, what is that? Is that a shoe? That's right. Whose shoe is that? Why is it under the seat of my car? Why a high heel shoe? Oops, maybe it's Miss Jessica's. Oh, that's right, I took her home last night. Damn it, has she forgotten her shoe in my car? If Emily finds out, she'll get jealous. I have to throw this shoe away. Luckily, Emily hasn't seen it. That's great, I did it. Honey, we're here. Okay, you park the car in. Have you called to reserve a table yet? Don't worry, I booked a table before we started from home. How attentive you are. Get off the car, Emily. Hmm, wait for me, please. What are you looking for? I see you are struggling to find something. Yes. What is that? Do you need help? I'm finding my other shoe. Have you seen my other shoe? Your other shoe? Yes, this is. I'm only wearing one. The one I took off just to relieve foot pain. That red shoe? Have you seen it? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. That's so weird. Where can it be? Maybe it flew out already? No way. Summary We use the present perfect tense when we want to talk about unfinished actions or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. For example, We haven't eaten at a Western restaurant since your birthday. Have you seen my other shoe? Has she forgotten her shoe in my car? English Conversations in Real Life, Part 3 Do you prefer using cash or credit cards? Jane, I think I need to go withdraw money now. Why? You can use credit cards, can't you? I can, but I still want to have a little cash in my hand, just in case. Okay. Do you prefer using cash or credit cards? I prefer using credit cards over cash, of course. Why? It is easier and safer to carry credit cards over cash. That's right. Much easier, much safer. You know, I lost my wallet twice. I can ask banks to create my new card, but cash is lost forever. I always put cash in the pocket coat and forget them all. <laughs> is your writing beautiful? What are you doing, Matt? I'm writing a Christmas card. Really? Who will you send it for? Lily. Who is Lily? She is one of my classmates. She always helps me to do my exercises. Can I have a look at it? Here you are. I tried my best. Wow, your handwriting is so great. Thanks, Daddy. Is your handwriting beautiful? I don't think so. Yours is better. I've never seen it before. Do you want to write a Christmas card with me? Can I? Yes. I will help you to make one and then you can write on it. Thanks, my boy. Are you a tidy person? Hi, this is Jack. Hi Jack, I'm Kyle. I got your message about a room for rent. Are you still interested in it? Yes, I am. I just wonder if I could ask you some questions. Are you a tidy person? 
To be honest, I'm not a highly organized person, but I'm a pretty neat person. I do love keeping my place tidy. Great. Are you a party animal? No, I'm an introvert, and I'm a quiet person. Perfect. Do you smoke? I used to, but at the moment, not. Excellent. Uh, do you have any questions? There is a parking lot, right? Yes. Perfect. I will take it. When are you ready to move in? This weekend, if it's okay. No problem. I've read that book many times. Hey, sorry I'm late. That's fine, no worries. What are you doing? I'm reading the book. Can I take a look at it? Sure. To Kill a Mockingbird, this is a good book. Is it? Have you read it? I've read that book many times. Really? It's the first time I read this one. Yeah, it must be twice or three times. It must be an extremely impressive one. Absolutely. I read it the first time when I was 18 years old. Do you feel everything differently after reading it many times? Yes. Each time I read it again, I have my own different feeling. I'm nearly on the fence. Phoebe, why are you calling me at this time? You must have been on the plane now. I was late for my flight. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. What happened? Even you know you should be at the airport one hour in advance. My clock is death, and the traffic was super terrible. Oh my, what are you going to do now? I'm really on the fence. I don't know what I need to do now. Okay, calm down. Are there any other flights today? No, it is the last flight to Chicago today. Oh my. I think I will take an early flight tomorrow morning. I'm in debt. Hi, Lena. Good morning. What's up? You look really not good. I'm so stressed out now. Come on. You can tell me what happened. Maybe I can help. I'm in debt. Why? Is it a big debt? I'm a shopaholic. I bought designer clothes and accessories that I can't afford. You can try to pay it by credit card. I have even two credit cards, but all of them are maxed up. Oh, it's quite serious. I don't know what I should do now. I think you should stop shopping right away. Of course. I don't even have money to do it. And save money from salary to get out of debt first. I know the interest from banks is a bit high. Keep silent, please. Mommy, mommy, look what I have. Shh, keep silent, please. You can wake the baby up. Okay, I see. Sorry, mom. Sorry, little Leo. What do you have, sweetie? I made it by myself, look! What is it? It's a Superman cloak! I made it for Leo! Wow, you are a good brother, but Leo is not able to play Superman with you yet. I know, 
I just made it in case when he grows up. He can become a Superman immediately. Good boy. Do you think he wants to be a Superman or a Spider-Man? He may like Superman. Perfect! Questions and answers by topic. A favorite subject. What's wrong with you? My homework is so hard I can't do it. Homework? What subject? Math. Oh, when I was a student, I was also bad at math and physics. I can't understand it. I don't know how to start from scratch. But you still have to try your best. I wish it was the homework for chemistry. Do you like chemistry? Sure, it's my favorite subject. Chemistry is quite interesting. Right? And it's easier for me to understand. I liked biology when I was studying. That's fine. I hate math, though. A museum. Yay, I'm so happy. What happened? My mom said that we would visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art next week. Wow, is that in New York? Right? I have always dreamed to visit it once. Me too. It is one of the most famous museums in America. It displays classic works of art. All of them are very precious. I'm so jealous of you. I'm so excited now. I will take a lot of pictures there. Well, when entering museums, you should not take pictures. Ah, so I will take pictures at its gate or outside. Oh, I wish I could go with you. A favorite movie. What? Are you watching Home Alone 1? Right? Christmas is coming. This movie brings to me the Christmas atmosphere. This movie has been out for a long time. Yes, and it is my favorite movie. I watch it every year on Christmas. This movie has six parts already. Have you watched them yet? Of course, but I prefer part one. I love all of them. I love the boy in this movie. Right? He is so funny and smart. The first time I watched this movie, my whole family watched it together. Wow, that's really great. My parents also laughed a lot. This is a really interesting movie, so a lot of people watch it again. A Foreign Country Where have you been the last three days? Ah, I was in a foreign country. For what? Which country? I was on a business trip to Thailand. Oh, you haven't told me that. I forgot to tell you. How is Thailand? I haven't been to this country. It would be great if I could enjoy this country instead of working. So? Did you discover something in Thailand? I found Thailand's food is really great. I love it. How about the sightseeings? Oh no, for all three days I just stayed at the hotel to work and to go see clients. I couldn't go anywhere. What a pity. So, I think I will come to Thailand again on my next holiday. Good, you should do that. Parties. Hey, 
Hey, do you have the time this evening? Of course, why? Great! Let's come to my house and throw a party. A party? Don't you like it? No way, but why do you hold a party? A small party to celebrate that we passed the exam. Great. So, how many people will join this party? Just some friends. You, Alex, Henry, Jenny. Okay. Is everything ready? Um, I'll go buy some more drinks. How about the food? Oh, don't worry. I have a lot in my fridge. Good. I'll bring some snacks. I just bought a lot. Okay, so I have to go now. Sure. See you in the evening? See you then! A teacher. Are you Mr. Henry? Yes, I am, but why do you know me? Oh, Mr. Henry, I was your student. It was such a long time ago. You look so familiar. What is your name? My name is Jenny. I was the monitor of the art class that you taught. Oh, okay. I remember you. At that time, we were very naughty and you scolded us a lot. I forgot about those things, but I remember you. You were very hardworking and eager to learn. Thanks to you, I graduated with an excellent degree in school. That's great. What do you do now? I'm opening a gallery in the city center. There are also quite a few visitors to see the paintings. I'm so happy to hear that. When you are free, please come to my gallery. Sure. A friend. Hey Jenny, long time no see. I'm so happy to see you here. Do you have time for a cup of coffee now? Sure. Luckily today, I don't have any deadline. That's great. How's it going? I'm good. How about you? I have heard that you work for Alex's company. Right? I was so surprised when Alex invited me to work for his company. He and you work in the same field. You can support each other a lot. Yes, the salary in this company is also very good. Great. I'm also planning to open a new store in New York. Maybe next time we'll be quite busy. Wow, I admire you so much. A hotel. What are you doing? I am searching for a hotel in Hawaii for my family trip next week. Oh, will your family travel to Hawaii? Right? We decided to go together because we haven't traveled for a long time. Do you need help? Of course. Do you know some good hotels there? There is a hotel that I have stayed at every time I go to Hawaii. That's great! How is it? It's a five-star hotel with everything, of course. Does it have a play area for children? because we have two kids in our family. Don't worry, it has a big entertainment area for children. What about the service? I find the service here to be one of the places I'm most satisfied with. Oh, please give me the information about it. A letter. What are you doing? I am writing a letter to my pen pal. 
Do you have a pen pal? Yes, we know each other on social networking site, and we've been a pen pal for two years now. Wow, where is she from? She is Korean. What things do you write about? We often talk about things that happen every day. That's fun. In the previous letter, she told me about Korean food. Oh, I really want to try them. I'm sure you want to meet her in person. Of course. If I have a chance, I will come to Korea. Oh, I want a pen pal too. Hobbies. You always look busy. Right? I was very tired of my work these days. You should take some rest and care much about your health. That's fine. But I'm afraid that I can't have time to paint. Do you know painting? Yes, it's my hobby. I haven't known that. Maybe I haven't told you before. So, when you have time, do you usually paint? Exactly. And sometimes I play badminton to improve my health. Unlike you, I always lie down in my bed or enjoy some films. They are my hobbies. Everyone likes different things. Music. Do you also listen to K-pop songs? Of course, they are very catchy. Right, I'm a big fan of K-pop. I wish I could attend a BTS concert here. They have a concert here in the near future. Really? I haven't known that. I have just found out that. Do you want us to go to a concert together? I'm sure it's really amazing. That's a great idea. When they open for ticket sales, please buy us two tickets. Of course, I remember. Oh, I'm so excited to attend their concert. Their music is very emotional and great. Shopping. Hey, what are you going to do? I want to go shopping. Oh, what will you want to buy? I will buy some dresses and come to the cosmetic store to buy some masks and lipsticks. Oh, does the store have new lipsticks? I also ran out of masks, but I'm busy today. I can buy it for you if you want. Great. Okay, but what kind of mask do you want? I will send you a picture of it. How many do you want? Buy for me one box. One box is 30 masks. It's enough for me. Sure, I will go now. Oh, uh, please buy me another pack of cotton pads. Okay, I remember. Holiday. What will you do to enjoy your holiday? Now, I just want to stay at home and take a rest. Because I've been so tired after these days. Anna and Alex invited me to travel with them on this holiday. Not bad. Where will they go? They said they would come to Singapore. How do you think? I don't know, but I think I prefer you to visit my house. Oh... It has been a long time. You didn't come back home, right? Yes. Because I was so busy at work, so I want to spend my time with them. It's great for you. Why don't you visit your parents in your hometown? No, they will travel to Russia for a week. No one is at home.
Rental house. Have you ever rented a house? What do we need to know before renting a house? Let's stand by Lisa on her rental house trip to learn the vocabulary we need to know when we rent a house in English. Are you ready? I'm looking to rent a house. Hi, I'm Tom Cohen, the real estate agent. May I help you? Hi, I saw rental properties on your company website. Yes, madam. I'm looking to rent a house. Sure, madam. Do you have any specific property in mind? Is the house still available at 200 King Street? I'm sorry, that house has been a deposit. Oh. Don't worry, I'm here to help you find a house to rent. May I ask you some questions? Sure. Is King Street the area you would like to live in? Yes, that area is convenient for me going to my company. I got it. How big is the house that you're looking for? I'm planning to share it with my sister. I'm not sure about the size, but I need two bedrooms. Sure. And do you have an idea of your budget? Maybe under $1,500 a month? Are you looking for a furnished or unfurnished place? A furnished place is better. Yes, madam. Is there anything else you need? I need it near the supermarket or park. That's fine. Do you need a place with a parking lot? Of course. Do you want one bathroom or two bathrooms? I prefer two bathrooms, but one is okay. I got it. And one last question. Do you have a pet? I have a dog. It's only about five kilos. Thanks for your information. May I have your phone number? 123-456-789. And your name, please? It's Lisa. I'll take a look at what's available and contact you later in 30 minutes or one hour. Great, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Make an appointment for a tour house. Hi, Lisa is speaking. Hi, I'm Tom Cohen, real estate agent. I called back because I think I found two properties that meet your need. Sure. The first place is located on King Street, about 1,000 square feet. It feels very spacious. How much is the rent? It's $1,400 per month. It has two bedrooms and one bathroom. The kitchen, dining room, and living room are one big connected space without walls dividing them, and it's furnished. I like it. Does it have reserved parking? Yes, it's covered parking. What about the neighborhood there? The neighborhood is very safe and quiet. That's so great. What about the second one? The second place is not on King Street, but it is only 250 meters from King Street. It's near. Yeah, the rent there is cheaper. It's $1,200 per month. There is a lot of street parking there. How big is it? It's 900 square feet. It's okay. Yeah, it has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Are they full or half bathrooms? A full bathroom and a half bathroom. One bathroom has a bathtub and a toilet. The other only has a toilet. I got it. Both places allow pets. Awesome. Which of the two are you interested in? I'd like to see both before making a rental decision. So I'll set up an appointment with you. Yeah. Is it convenient for you on Saturday morning? Saturday is great. I'll send the address of the first house to your phone number. So, see you at 10 a.m. this Saturday. Okay. Thank you. Tour House Good morning, Miss Lisa. I'm Tom Cohen. Hello. Nice to meet you. Please follow me.
It's an open floor plan. It's very spacious. Is all furniture included? Most of them, but some items belong to the current tenant. Oh, I need a list of everything which is in the house and its condition. Sure, I'll send you the inventory. That would be good. Let's take a look at the bedroom. It's clean! This house only has a bathroom, right? Yeah, it's right here. It's pretty moldy. We make sure everything will be dealt with before you move in. I'm glad to hear that. There are restaurants, coffee shops nearby, and a park about 150 meters away. Perfect! Shall we take a look around the second house? Sure, madam. This place is quite close to King Street. Yes, this is Arthur Street. Here is the living room. Not bad. This is the kitchen, and as you can see, it has tile flooring and new cabinets. I see. And there is an oven, gas stove, and fridge. The house has a medium bedroom and a large bedroom. Oh, hope my sister would agree with the medium room. About the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms. One has a tub, a shower head, and a toilet. The other only has a toilet. There is a supermarket 100 meters away. Great! Can we decorate the place ourselves or paint my room? I think the landlord will be happy when you improve the house, but you need your landlord's permission before changing anything. Of course. Are you interested in this house or the previous one? Both are great, but I need to discuss it with my sister first. Sure. I'll call you later. Thanks for showing me the houses. It was my pleasure. Sign a tenancy agreement and pay a deposit. Hello, I'm Lisa. I'm calling about the house on Arthur Street. Sure, ma'am. How can I help you? We decided to rent that house. Wonderful. We need to pay a holding deposit, right? Yes. How much? It's $300. Is it easy to get back? Yes, as soon as you pay the tenancy deposit and sign the contract. Sure. How much is the tenancy deposit? It's a month's rent, $1,200. Why the tenancy deposit is a month's rent? Because a deposit gives the landlord security in case you cause damage to the property or don't pay rent. Do we get that back? Sure. At the end of the tenancy, you will get your deposit back as long as the property is in a good condition. I got it. How long is the lease? 12 months. After that, you can sign the contract for another year. Okay. I want to make an appointment to sign the contract and pay the deposit. Sure, but first you need to supply your reference and we will process your application. There are me and my sister. We need two references for each, right? That's right. As soon as your profile is complete, we can deposit and sign the contract. I'll try to get you the references as soon as possible. Thank you.
Here is a lease. Give me a moment to read the lease. Sure. You are responsible for the gas bill and electric bill. And we take care of your water, cable, and internet bills. That's great. The neighborhood here is pretty quiet. Yeah, there's not much noise. Place in this area gets snapped up fast. I like quiet places. Okay, I will sign. And now I'll write you a check for the deposit. Thank you. When could we move in? Whenever you want, ma'am. I used to. Dialogue 1. What did your parents look like when they were children? Mom, what did you look like when you were young? Is it different from now? I think it's a bit different from now. Hmm, it's hard to imagine you when you were young. Okay, I will show you my photos of when I was young. <gasps> you look so beautiful, Mom. I see a pretty girl with long blonde hair. Yes, I used to have long blonde hair. Because of my cute appearance, people always think I'm gentle. On the contrary, I used to be edulent, even mischievous. I remember me and my surrounding buddies always played hide-and-seek after we got home from school. But now you are gentle. <laughs> right. So, when you were young, what did you like? When I was young, I loved to sing. After finishing the class, I always went to the club to learn to sing. I used to join a band and got to perform in many places. How about you, Dad? Are you abulent like a mother? No, I used to be shy and bashful. I didn't like talking to strangers. So interesting. The parents' personalities are completely opposite. Yes, that's funny. Dialogue 2. Dog and cat are our friends. This cat is so adorable. This cat is yours, isn't it? Yes, I just bought the cat last week when I passed the pet store. She is so cute that I had to buy her immediately. What is the name of the cat, Sarah? As my cat is a female, I called her Katie. Is a cat an easy to feed? Yes, she is so obedient. But Katie is quite a picky eater. She doesn't really like cat food. She enjoys fish bones, rice, and tiny shrimp. Great! I also used to have a lovely pet. My dog's name is Cookie. But I lost him when we walked into the park. I'm sorry to hear that. Cookie was a special gift that my parents gave me at my birthday party. He was an exotic dog. Here is the photo of me with Cookie. Whoa, his fur coat is stunning. Such a big, beautiful boy. Yes, he has white fur smooth as velvet. Cookie is a playful but smart, docile, and faithful dog. Did you often play with him? Yes, I always used to go for a walk with Cookie. But, unfortunately, I can't do that anymore. Don't be sad. I think Cookie will always remember you. Right, I always remember him. Dialogue 3. What did John look like before? Huh? Jack? Are you Jack? Yes, I am. Are you John? Yes. I'm really happy to see you here. We haven't seen each other for a long time. Me too. You look so much prettier. Thanks. And you look so different. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> Everybody always says that. You look much more balanced and healthy than before. Right. As you know, 
I used to be fat and weak. Even I had an acne face. Because I didn't exercise, ate fast food, ate midnight snacks, and also drank soft drinks. Whoa, how did you do it? I've been on a diet for a couple of months now and incorporate a little exercise into my diet. And I do not stay up late. And I drink enough water, up to 10 to 12 glasses. I even avoid caffeine. Great, I also want to look as healthy as you. Of course, I will help you. Thanks! Dialogue 4 We used to be like that. Tony, look at the students on the football ground. I see. They look so energetic and healthy. Yeah. I used to enjoy playing football when I was a high school student. I was also very ebullient about participating in the school sports activities. So am I. I also enjoyed playing sports. Especially, I liked playing badminton. I used to join a club in university and won many awards. So cool. But now we don't have time to do anything. Because our jobs as accountants make us have a lot on our plate all the time. Right. My job always ends at 6 p.m. Sometimes I even have to work overtime till 10 o'clock at night. Well, the same things you do. After we finished work, I always rush to pick my children up and bathe them. I don't even have free time to hang out. This office work makes me really tired. <sighs> ah. You know, we are not going to work on the occasion of International Labor Day. Yeah, great! Would you like to ask the boss to organize a football tournament? Great idea! I look forward to it. Dialogue 5 The new language will be gradually forgotten when you do not use it much. Lucy, can you help me? Of course, what's up? I have a French document that I need to translate, but no one at my company knows French. So I want to ask for your help because I know your major was French when you studied in university. Okay, let me see. If I can, I will help you. I used to be fluent in French, but now I don't use French, so I forgot a lot of words. <coughs> oh no, how long haven't you used French? I used to use French two years ago. Why don't you use it anymore? Well, previously I used to work in a company with mostly French partners, but now I have changed jobs. I don't know anyone who knows French except you. As you know, when you don't speak a second language much, you gradually forget about it. What a pity. But don't worry, let me see. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.